All right, last time we ran the gauntlet and we managed to get ourselves sexy Stacy Keebler. So, wow, that sounds so inappropriate. Whatever. Anyway, it is time for us to start the next program, the Royal Rumble. I'm going to say right now, in order to continue with the path that I want, I'm going to have to lose the rumble, and that might actually be easier said, well, easier done than said. Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than four weeks away from the cross-brand spectacular, the Royal Rumble. And in a break from tradition, I've decided that if a SmackDown superstar wins the Royal Rumble, he'll get a shot at the WWE title at No Way Out just before WrestleMania. Huh. So then the champion will go on to WrestleMania uh, to deal with whatever side story that they'd have then, right? That means that the Rumble winner could go on to WrestleMania as the champion, guaranteeing him the biggest match and biggest paycheck of his life. Nice, nice. I have chosen the 15 superstars who will represent SmackDown in the 30-man Royal Rumble. And over the next few weeks, we'll be having a series of matches to decide the order of entry into the Royal Rumble match. The idea is simple. You win matches, you get a higher number, and enter later. And then the opposite. You lose, you enter earlier. If you lose matches, you enter the Rumble earlier. Yeah. And you know, Taz, the higher your number, the better chance you have of winning the Royal yeah, Rumble. But there have been guys that have won with number one and number two, number three. You're absolutely right, Cole. Not for nothing, these SmackDown superstars are going to be fighting it out for number 30. The other good thing about the brand extension was either they'd be appointed, uh, you know, SmackDown or Raw would be appointed number 30 right there and then. Uh, you know, in some cases, other times they'd end up getting, uh, you know, like a cross brand match in order to determine who would get 30 or something like that. Like I said, it's possible uh, to enter the Rumble later and actually still lose. I was just about to say, what the heck is that buzzing? That's my capture. Uh-oh. Hopefully everything's okay. Ah, shit. Welcome to Boston, uh, you, where sold out oh, no, fuck you. Definitely. No, you don't get to do that. Get, dang it, depth perception. Ooh, no, come on. Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, uh. Boy. Why does everything feel so goddamn stiff now? Um, What was I playing Dragon Ball Z before that? I, I wasn't even playing anything today. This is just a brand new session. Uh, uh, come on, God. Come on. God damn it. It's like my strikes are all... Seriously, it's like I can't grab onto him and do shit that I'm supposed to do. Let's get dirty. This is pretty much what the normal storyline will lead you to. The Hall of Royal Rumble. You know, you're going to WrestleMania. Maybe. What about, like, the... The bot. Ooh, see now doing this outside the ring ought to actually do more damage, but it doesn't. Come on. What? 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 Hmm. What? Come on, Rico. Come on, Rico. Oh no. But basically, yeah, you get to do all sorts of interesting stuff now. 
uh, they started to integrate more things into the system, which they should have done before. Like, I'm trying to remember which game it was. Was it 2010? They actually allowed you to integrate finishing moves into uh, eliminations in the Royal Rumble. I've considered getting uh, 2010. It's fairly cheap on Amazon, but that's not really what you want. I mean, eh, it's okay. I mean, I played 2009 briefly. I mentioned this already. And, well, it was okay. I mean, the thing is that, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys trying to fine-tune the system. But if you're going to try and enhance the tag system, you could have tried to do it at a time when WWE had their damn tag teams. So he's at number 11 now. He's off to a great start. And now he gets my number. Well, I'm probably thinking of the other game, but yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, come on. If you're a main eventer, you know, well, if you're up there, upper mid tier, then yeah, you're going to, uh, to have a pretty decent number. Although some of the other guys end up entering uh, entering first, so yeah, would be interesting if I won this. But thing is that I want the I don't want to win the championship because that's going to make me go to WrestleMania and defend the championship. I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Does the undisputed title storyline actually still take place? I think that it does. Regardless, if you're a champion going to uh, to WrestleMania, then yeah. So we'll wrestle Ray. See, the unfortunate thing is, this is going to suck. I'm going to be able to plow through these guys because the combat system isn't as uh, isn't as polished as I would like it to be. The Royal Rumble qualifying matches continue tonight here on SmackDown. The more matches a superstar wins, the closer he gets to coming into the Royal Rumble at the coveted number 30 spot. That's all. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All right. Don't care. It's not that I hate Rey Mysterio or something like that. This is... I don't really care for him all that much. He's an, inter he's an interesting entertainer, but... Just come on, guys. Especially when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to the games. Good God, he's a glass cannon. I mean, well, that's his whole thing. He is a glass cannon. But seriously, you know, he. See, oh, and we're in San Diego. Oh, great. Yeah, he he's fucked in front of his hometown. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> nope. Oh, I fall out of the. No. Why are we going everywhere else? It doesn't work that way. How long? Oh, 12 minutes. Okay. I was just about to say, Audacity, please give me a time. Dumbass. Somehow it hurt both of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. Ow. Yeah, we're just going to mess him up royally right now. Dang it. Go. J Don't. Bitch. <laughs> bitch chop. Not slap. Chop. Mm. Oh, no. This wheel into a bulldog. I hate that. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Nope. What am I trying to do? 420? 420 splash? Shit. Stick to the 619, bro. Ah. No, you d stop kicking me. What the fuck? Wait, I'm not even holding him. Game. Could y'all at least animate that better? <sighs> Let's see if we can work on that leg. Do you think that this would strategically weaken his finishing move? But. They didn't make the combat that sophisticated, and they continued to uh, to rework it so that now you have uh, you know the games end up being almost entirely different from each other. 
I mean, in the case of two, uh, uh, in the case of SmackDown vs. Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and you know 2007, it's not like that. I mean, the combat is pretty much interchangeable. You know, but then by 2008, then 2009, and I suppose 10 as well. You know, the combat system has changed to the point that, you know, yeah, we keep having to revamp it and rebuild it, but it's not the system that it really should be. Because they keep trying to uh, to uh, redo it, you know, rebuild it from the ground up, they have actually kind of weakened it so that they can't actually make uh, the game as interactive and as awesome as it should be. Which is what a lot of people have been wanting anyway. You know, it's just something to do. You know, something to really. Can God, your durability is shit. Look at it. And I shouldn't just be dominating him. I shouldn't be dominating anybody. I don't really like having a match like that. I like actually having a fair and balanced match for the most part. So why not I turn the difficulty up? Because then shit's going to get uh, ridiculously stupid because then the computer's going to start acting crazy. But I'll try. I'll do it for the next storyline. I don't want to do it right now in the middle of a, in the middle of a path. I'd rather wait. Ray, stop. Why would you even have that as a taunt? Let's go. This'll do it. This'll do it. Without a doubt, this will do it. And then, yeah, the impact damage from this will definitely put him away. It's over. One, two, three. Simple. So if I go up another 10, then that means I'm at number 21. I win one more match and I have number 30. See, it's real easy when you put me up against these lightweights. Come on, guys. Make it more of a challenge. This guy is unstoppable, Taz. Two consecutive victories have propelled him to number 21 in the Royal Rumble entry order. He's in good shape for sure, but he better not get too cocky. Now, I think this next week is where things get challenging. It's like then they'll put up, uh, they'll put like the better guys together for a match uh, for number 30, if my memory is correct. But we're not actually going to mess around with that just yet. As always, because it's been two weeks. Oh, wait, I think we're about to have something happen. Uh oh. There we go. We're seeing the results. It's always Rob Van Dam and Big Show if you're somebody else. Wow, man. Looks like luck's been on both our sides, man. You guys rocked out there tonight. Hey, good luck in the rumble. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm just glad that my entry number's so close to you two losers. I figure that's two easy eliminations right there. And it usually is with the big show. This is why, like, ten dudes had to gang up on him to get him out. So we'll see. There's your new rivalry. Uh-oh, what is he about to do? You no, know he's going to be suspicious. Oh, uh, crap, we're going to have more SmackDown versus Raw, aren't we? Yeah, I did okay tonight, but I could really use a hand next week. That's right, like we talked about before. Hmm. I can count on you for some help next week, right? Great. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it, Mr. Bischoff. Really? So, in other words, it's the same damn thing from the last, uh... Alright. What the... Is he actually asking Eric Bischoff for help? Nah, that can't be a call. There's gotta be another explanation. Well, the dialogue's pretty obvious. Well, I hope you've got one, Taz, because I don't. So, yeah, apparently SmackDown now has three commentators. Wait, didn't they actually have three commentators at one point? Uh, see, th that was also a problem. They never could get their shit together once ECW came came around. Because Taz left to go be co-commentator on, uh, 
We went to go be co-commentator on ECW with Joey Styles, and then we brought in Matt Stryker to work with uh, with Michael Cole.